What's coming out new, Joe? Oh, man. The Book of Strength, this one from the time, man. I got a DJ Chicago Kid on it, Raekwon from the Wu-Tang, uh, Wiz Khalifa on it, uh, one of my favorite producers in the world, XL from the West Side. Mm -hmm. uh, we're speaking in lightning, super enlightened, profound, is a moment, you know what I'm saying? And if you're trying to get some macking about yourself, it's going to really elevate your macking potential, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to be enlightened and grow and develop, and move in the way of the ism, this is all for you. It's the book of St. Ism. Church on the move is all in truth. When you give them that truth like that, do you feel a sense of urgency to get it out with everything that's going on with the youth and the community? Oh, man, I definitely do, man, because, yeah, we need somebody to show them that being intelligent, being righteous, and having love for your people is a cool thing, too. Because the things that's portrayed as being cool usually is the opposite of that. Uh -huh. I want to show that you can be intelligent and cool at the same time. Because in our communities, a lot of times, if you have any sort of intelligence or you show it, uh -huh. oh, you a lame. No, right. It's not true. Because right. I did more macking than a little bit in my lifetime. <laughs> and I made straight A's. I was real smart. Right. I was on the honor roll. I was in the beta club. I was like super smart. And I always got chose. He went to send me out with me too. He know. He seen me. He seen me. And it's my nephew. This whole life he seen me. You know what I'm saying? So they understand that. Uh, we have to be like a projection of masculinity. Because right. another thing that I'm saying that's portrayed is so cool, and not to take anything from it, it's just not like my thing, but the feminization of the young black man, that's something that really needs to be addressed. So I show that it's cool to be a Mac. If you're single, you can get all the Mac and on that you want. Right. But when you get you a queen, embrace it, because it's going to be hard for you to replace it. Chuck. Mm. Yeah. That that, that manhood, that yeah. isn't that you speak about. Look, look at her hair. You know what I'm saying? It be guys around her seeing how good she look, and they won't even acknowledge her. Hey, I just want to tell you a really good. God bless her. Yeah, they'll see her and act like she's not even there. Now, how could you be a man and not acknowledge her and give her some respect? This brother is giving an interview and showed the courtesy and recognized to, beauty. You got to. You got to. Because... I think a lot of times people have a misconception of what beauty is uh -huh. or just a conception that's opposite of what uh, is normal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because for me, the normal thing is due to the fact that I'm a man, when I see a beautiful woman or a beautiful woman, I want to show her some love and embrace it. You know what I'm saying? And not always physically, but just to pay that respect and accept her as a bearer of life. Because without her, there would be no me. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. Have you thought about then reality like shows and all too. that? Natural hair is a plus because you can run your fingers through it. Unless they got a lot of brown gel in it. Because your shit will get like caught up in that brown gel. And it might have their sideburns just laying down real flat like plastic a little. And it could flap up if it's real windy. Bro, you need a reality show, man. What's up with the reality movie, man? Oh, you, man I mean, I you, need reality. A, you, need a, you need something. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I just feel like certain things need to be addressed and due to the fact that I'm in a position to address it. Like, you asking me questions, I'm going to speak up on it. And I'm going to speak up on Bruce Rahmer, man, because he a fucking lame. How you going to not sign a budget for these schools, for these institutions? Uh, you got schools like Chicago State okay. that's six months behind on bills and shit and college tuitions because you ain't signed no budget. But you got $4 billion put up in the cut and just mm. sitting around and got motherfuckers protesting and watching. That's lame as hell, man. I ain't mad. I know, man. GLC speaking truth. Politics. I gotta speak the truth, man. You know, I gotta speak the truth. And, you know, motherfuckers be talking about how the shorty's so fucked up. Like, oh, the shorty's fucked up. But nobody talks about black on black crime. Right. We do talk about it, but we gotta understand post traumatic slave syndrome. And we gotta realize that this is an extension of Jim Crow and Willie Lynch. Mm -hmm. During slavery, we was taught that if you was short or if you was tall, you was an op. If you was light skinned or you was dark skinned, you was an op. Mm -hmm. If you was a man or a woman, you was an op. If you was skinny or fat, you was an op. They made every single way possible for us to be against each other in order to control us. Mm -hmm. And it's been proven that memory is encoded in DNA and genetics. So you might see a motherfucker outside and you just be like, man, I don't like that motherfucker. You don't even know him. But your ancestors didn't like him because that shit was beat into him. So that's all that's going on. And it ain't never been no motherfucking like uh, mental health uh, camps or anything to try to help curb the effects of slavery and shit. Mm -hmm. That's never happened before. So due to the fact that this was designed and it was set up for us long as hell ago, it's still alive and well. 
and we got to figure out what needs to be done in order to, you know, curb that and put it in a better direction. I know you are chilling. I'm not going to keep you long, but I want to know where, where and when is the joints coming out, when we can find it and all that, and, um, you know. Oh, man, you can go to datpiff.com and type my name in search. You're going to see about 20 projects on there. Okay. Livemixtapes.com, type my name in there. You're going to see about 20 projects on there. SoundCloud got about 20 projects, and uh, man, my mixtapes got about 10 of them on there, and shit, is more to come, man. All you're going to have to do is, like, put my name in the Google, and put Book, book of St. Ism, and it's going to come up. What's moving you nowadays out, outside the Thought Project, musically, what's getting you going, you know, what type of beats is aggressive, what's, you know, what's, what's, what can we expect, what type man, of... Ism music. I like music that I can speak to Ism on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Something. It, it gotta be something that's in the post. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Something that you can feel. No doubt. And with that being said, when I put my lyrics on it and my voice, I just add an instrument on top of the instruments that's already laid down. There y'all go, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but what really moved me though is simply being an inspiration. I'm inspired by inspiring other people. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. We got it. Yeah, I'm inspired by the ladies too, cause I think they're so <laughs> nice and good and fine. And God really snapped when he made women. This dude, yeah, he man. did, man. Because yeah, because like, he made y'all. Like, look at me. Like, I'm made like this, straight up and down. There ain't no type of specialness to it. But a woman, she had like a setup right here, like curves and like something like this. You know, that's really, really nice. You know, and that's something that you gotta really understand that when God made women, He worked overtime, and you gotta embrace that shit. Church. No doubt. GLC yeah, kicking them. The knowledge, y'all. Like, I ain't one of them dudes, like, how motherfuckers be like, <laughs> fuck them hoes, and I hate that bitch, fuck that bitch, and I, I'm not, right. I don't have no animosity with women. No doubt. I get along with women. I don't okay. want to choke no woman, hit no woman, or call her no bitch, unless she like to be called.